A little mental pressure I'm telling him about first. You have two minutes. You know her number, don't you? I sure do. You step right in there, and here's a dime. This is a regular pay phone. Don't put it in yet. The reason why I give you a two-minute limit is because this phone booth is situated rather high. And the reason for its height is because of what's underneath it, which you can now see. 500-gallon tank of ice water. How many times I have wished to have a phone booth built over this kind of a thing when somebody else was in it. In two minutes' time, this phone booth goes all the way to the bottom. Now, you got it all set? The time starts when the girl answers. And we're all going to be able to hear. The phone's ringing once. Twice. Hope she's home. Three times. Hello. Hello, Carol. Time starts. Hello, hon. This is Bob. How are you? Fine. How are you? Good. Listen, I'm going to be a little bit late. I'm not feeling too well. I'm not What's the matter? Well. I'm not feeling too well this evening. Sit down. Oh, what's the matter? Have you got a headache or something? No, I have the virus. I've been working oh, very hard all day. So listen, I tell you what. Um, can you make it tomorrow night? Well, oh, honey, I have a date. What time? Seven o'clock. Who are you going out with tomorrow night? Ronnie. Ronnie. Minute and a half left. Minute and a half left. What time is he picking you up? He's picking me up at 7 o'clock. What's the matter, kid? He's picking you up at 7 o'clock? Yes. Listen, I tell you what, uh, why don't you break the date? Well, break I can't the date break with Ronnie. The date. Yes, you can break the date with Ronnie.